Daryl Fitton, many congratulations. How does that feel? Um, it's good to get through the first round. I am a slow starter. Um, I need to get into tournaments. It was hard work up there, very warm, but it's hard work. So. Went into that game as strong favourite against Les, but Les certainly put up a fight in those first few sets. How did you find that? Yeah, he, he just wouldn't go away. You know, I wasn't I wasn't playing well, but I was always thought I, I would win the game. I was sort of one one throw in front most of the game, but then he took a one four two out. You know, his finishing was really good, and mine let me down. But you know, fair play to Les. He dug in and. You know, he'd, he'd been here for quite a couple of hours before he even started practicing anything. He didn't realise he was on so quick, so maybe that's that's what I should do. Maybe maybe on Saturday, don't practice until right at the very end. But uh, we'll see how it goes. You mentioned on Saturday, it's Tao Stampy or John Park next for you. Your thoughts on that draw? Well, they're both great players, you know, and I know them very well. Coach Stumpy has been a good friend of mine from the BDO circuit for years, and I've always been impressed with John Park with everything he does. His commentary is fantastic, and when he was at peak form, he was nobody better. And your preparation coming into um, this weekend, how's that done leading up to the tavern? Well, um, it's been quite busy actually. I've been quite busy at work and things. Um, I've been trying to put some good hours of practice in, but sometimes the body doesn't let you do it. I practiced for five hours on Monday, and then Tuesday I couldn't walk. <laughs> I do suffer with arthritis, but I'm not making excuses. But sometimes, uh, so I thought, well, driving down here yesterday was a long drive, stuck in little bit of traffic, so I didn't practice at all yesterday. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Day after tomorrow, don't practice at all tomorrow, and then see, and then start early Friday, uh, Saturday. And you was here last year and um, played home favourite last year and had all the crowd against you. This year, um, the, the crowd was very much split. Did you find that a different experience? Yeah, definitely. Because to be quite honest with you, most of the times I've been playing, I've always had the, had the majority of the crowd. It's been, I can count on one hand how many times it, the, the crowd have been for the opponent. Obviously last year, all to the right of me as well. And, I think they should have been sat behind us and everything because it was quite really difficult last year. So it actually didn't feel as hot on that stage. Maybe it's nerves, maybe it's more kilos on me, you know, on my waistline, I don't know. Yeah. You mentioned their nerves. It's an iconic stage, it's an iconic trophy um, and a lot to play for this weekend. Did that then play in your mind, do you think, going on to um, today's day? No, not, not, it's not, for me it's not a lot to play for. I just want to get back into it and everything like that. So I go on that stage and... It, and it's nerve nerve wracking. You've not been last time I played on the stage like that was this time last year. You know, so I've not I, I played the Moda Super Series and that's that's all I've done to be quite honest with you. So I've not done much. So I'm looking forward to sort of relaxing tomorrow, get back on that stage, and it'll be probably a full crowd on Saturday. So I'm looking forward to it. So. And I've had a game. I've had a, I've got a game under my belt. So you know, all positives, I suppose. You mentioned they're getting back into it. Your plans for 2023 post this World Championship? Yeah, I'm. Uh, well, I've booked already booked all the senior tour. I'm really looking forward to that. We've got quite a few exhibitions. Uh, again, um, lots in Germany, a couple in Belgium, uh, Scotland, and things like that. So it's quite busy, and obviously I've got a lot of work to do with the youth, and well, not just the youth, but that's my. Personally, my main priority is the youth. I do help out with uh, look for talented players, the senior level and things like that. But um, you know, um, <laughs> the youth, youth, I'm, I'm my priority. Daryl, many congratulations today. Well done, and good luck on Saturday.